Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Dubai Parikh. I will be talking about dosimetric comparison of uh, VMAT, 3D CRD, and IMRD in left uh, breast cancer after BCS receiving breast irradiation. Uh, breast cancer is the most common cancer in women worldwide and also the main cause of cancer death among women globally. The technique in whole breast radiotherapy requires efficiency in terms of sparing nearby OERs. Radiotherapy is an integral part of breast cancer management after BCS in early stage breast cancer. Compared to traditional forward planning, the inverse plan modulated radiation therapy may benefit in better target dose homogeneity and OERs dose reduction and is reported having better target dose homogeneity and sparing normal tissues such as heart and the intralateral lung. For irradiation of the left breast, cardiac dose is one of the most important issues. The greatest challenge for radiation therapy or any cancer therapy is to attain the highest probability of cure with the least morbidity. IMRT allows us to modulate the intensity of each radiation beam. So each field may have one or many areas of high intensity radiation and any number of low intensity areas within the same field, thus allowing for greater control of the dose distribution with the target. With the advent of uh, advanced sophisticated treatment planning software, IMRT is becoming, a, is becoming increasingly popular. We might a novel technique that delivers the radiation to the target in a single or multiple planetary rotations has been used in treatment of many cancer sites such as prostate, head and neck, and Hodgkin lymphoma. The aim of this study is to compare 3DCRT versus IMRT versus VMAT and uh, uh, to evaluate the dosimetric relations of PDK and normal OERs with the free plant and left PCSA radiation. Uh, 24 patients with left uh, breast cancer were randomly selected for this treatment planning, uh, treatment planning study. They received a dose of 40 gray and 15 fractions. The patient characteristics are uh, mentioned in this table. The study was conducted using treatment plans done on the CT simulation data with 3 mm slice thickness of the 24 uh, patients. These patients were already treated with 3DCRT. The contours that were generated were the PTD, epsilateral lung, contralateral lung, contralateral breast, heart, spinal cord, and the body. And the contouring guidelines were as per the RTOG 0319 protocol and recommendations in ECRO 83. Uh, these, these are the normal OERs. For 3D CRT planning, two opposite tangential beams were constructed to conform to the whole breast PTV. A margin of 1 cm between the MLC and PTV was set for coverage. The isocenter of the treatment machine was positioned at the center of the midline joining two parallel opposite fields. Plans were created for 3D CRT in which tangential co planner beams were used to produce adequate dose coverage for planning target volume. Critical organs were shielded using MLC without compromising the PTV coverage. The PTV was set to receive 95% of the prescribed dose. <coughs> the IMRT plan used two opposite modulated fields which suited the PTV curve shape and orientation. The gantry angle was determined according to the angle of the curve formed by the PTV. The single arc VMAT with two shuttles of arcs. The plan was generated using a single 210 to 230 degree rotation with the starting angle and ending angle similar to that of the IMRT. This sector angle was used to avoid entrance doses to the contralateral lung and heart. Uh, this is the 3D CRT plan, the IMRT plan, and the VMAT plan. The dose com uniformity and conformity were calculated and evaluated as per the ICRU report 83. The dose con constraints and the optimizing objectives are mentioned in this table. To better summarize the most superior technique from the multiple uh, parameters results of a study, we use the quality score table uh, assigning a point 0.1 to the parameter showing significant advance. A DVH window was used to analyze the PTV mean, maximum and minimum doses and also similarly for the OERs and considering the volumes for receiving 5 grade up to 40 grade. Also to illustrate how the low dose volume effects, dose volume histogram for normal healthy tissue were also incorporated and monitor units were also noted in order to access and understand integral dose. Uh, the results were as follows. Uh, the average PTV was 1248cc. Both IMRT and 3 CRT achieved the V95% target. V98, 2 and 50 was not statistically significant. IMRT and VMAT showed better CI and HI for PTV planning. Compared individually, if IMRT was best among the three plans. Uh, in the monitor units, it was significant for 3D CRT compared to VMAT and IMRT. Value of the MUs depend on the depth to be treated. In the left lung, the volume receiving 5 and 10 gray were lower with 3D CRT compared to IMRT and VMAT. Volume receiving 20, 30, and 40 gray were better with VMAT and IMRT, and on individual comparison, VMAT was found to be better technique. In the right lung, the mean dose significantly lowered was lower for the 3D CRT and so were the volume receiving 2, 5 and 10 grade. And for the whole heart area, D mean dose was not found to be statistically significant. Volume receiving 5 and 10 grade were lower for 3D CRT. However, V20, 30 and 40 were better with DMAT and IMRT. 
Uh, in the quality score of the plan, it was found that the uh, VMAT and IMRT scored 14 points and 3DCRT scored 11 points. IMRT was found to be closer in fields where 3DCRT scored over the other techniques. IMRT and VMAT were found to be better for the PTV coverage and heart and lung. 3DCRT was better over the other two techniques in the contralateral lung and breast. Uh, these are the uh, DVHs. Uh, IMRT has been described to improve the uh, target conformity and dose homogeneity in treating breast cancer. Advantages in treating the intact breast have been noted for IMRT with respect to dose homogeneity, especially for large breast and doses to the ipsilateral lung and heart. It was shown that the 3DCRT results were comparable to the IMRT techniques in terms of breast coverage, delivering 95% of the prescribed dose to more than 95% of the breast PTV. The mean dose delivered to the breast PTV with no statistically significant difference in paired comparison. It was shown to have better results than IMRT and VMAT in contralateral lung and breast. The results of a study matched with the other similar studies carried out by Sasaoka and Putami. The CI and HI were also found to be better with IMRT compared to 3DCRT. The application of IMRT offers the potential for improved local regional control without increasing heart toxicity in those requiring local regional treatments. The BSC et al. reported that the exposure of heart to ionizing radiation during radiotherapy for breast cancer increases the subsequent rate of ischemic heart disease. 3DCRT technique required fewer monitor units to deliver a given uh, dose compared with IMRT and VMAT. The VMAT plan reduced the high dose volume of the OARs but increased the low dose volume and could not meet the PTV 95% uh, constraints. Various reports have shown that the incidence of second cancer risk would increase with the increasing of the uh, irradiated dose of the contralateral breast. Although IMRT and VMAT were planned with the same dose constraint for, for the contralateral breast as the other techniques, the V.5 up to 5 of the contralateral breast was significant higher than the 3 dcrt plans. In our study, comparing to the other three treatments, uh, the VMAT reduced the normal tissue volume receiving high dose but significantly increased the volume of the low dose. So in, con to, in conclusion, the quality of treatment plan depends on, uh, depends on many factors in general. There is an optimum plan for every patient that treats the breast tissue while sparing the organs at risk. However, the technique one may use could vary depending on the patient geometry and technology. VMAT plan had few advantages in improving the HI of PTV but may decrease the PTV coverage, dose coverage and increase the dose irradiation to the lung and contralateral breast. IMRT is now considered to be a mature radiotherapy technique and has become a frequently used modality in most of all the radiotherapy centers in various cancer treatments. Quantification of dose OARs may be useful for clinicians as they counsel women on, with early stage breast cancer about their treatment option. In conclusion, compared with the other plans, the IMRT plan has demonstrated the combined advantage in PTV dose coverage and dose drop to most normal tissue involved in the research. So we suggest employing IMRT plan for left breast cancer radiotherapy after BC. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vipay. You took our advice very seriously. Though despite having a lot to speak, you were before time. Thank you so much for that. We now move on to the third speaker, Dr.